Magnesium is needed for over 300 reactions in the body, including things like protein building, muscle and nerve function, blood sugar control, and blood pressure regulation. The recommended daily allowance for males is 420 milligrams, and for females, it's 320. Which leads me onto the first reason as to why I supplement magnesium. 48% of all Americans, they don't get enough magnesium from their diet alone. This is despite fantastic magnesium sources, such as pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, almonds, spinach and cashews. So a lot of us we aren't reaching that optimal magnesium intake and here's why we want to do that starting with bone health. Magnesium affects the active form of vitamin D which is crucial for bone health and several population based studies have demonstrated a link between magnesium and bone density and in a small trial they found that magnesium supplements it decreased bone turnover and made the bones stronger and while further research is needed to fully understand the link between magnesium and bone strength, the link is there, and I also take 1000 units of vitamin D as well as 120 micrograms of vitamin K2 to optimize my bone strength. The third reason why I take magnesium supplements is blood pressure. A 2012 meta-analysis did show that magnesium supplements it resulted in a small 3-4 to four unit decrease in systolic blood pressure. But it's important to note that we don't yet know if magnesium supplements will decrease heart attacks. A June 2022 analysis showed that there was insufficient evidence for magnesium supplements and heart attacks. Next on the list is improvements in sleep. In a small trial, magnesium supplements, they decreased the time it took to fall asleep as well as improve the quality of that sleep. They could also see reductions in the stress hormone cortisol. The fifth reason is muscle strength. There is an interesting link between optimal levels of magnesium intake and muscle building. We do need to be careful not to overinterpret the data, but again, it's an interesting link and the evidence is starting to build. The sixth reason is migraine headaches. The American Academy of Neurology concluded that magnesium therapy is probably effective to reduce migraine headaches. So for patients that I see in the clinic who are suffering from migraine headaches and they want to experiment with supplements, I do suggest magnesium. And the final reason is dementia. In a 2016 meta-analysis, a higher magnesium intake was related to a lower chance of developing cognitive impairment. So given that many of us don't reach those optimal intake levels of magnesium, despite a great diet, that's why I've chosen to supplement. Now, there are a couple of other claims about magnesium that I do want to go into. There is a thought that magnesium supplements may reduce the chance of developing diabetes, but the American Diabetes Association states that there is insufficient evidence to support that claim. It's also unlikely that magnesium supplements will decrease muscle cramps. Now I want to go through the form of magnesium that I take. There's another molecule called taurine, which seems to be fantastic in promoting mitochondrial health. And we can see that magnesium taurate is rapidly absorbed and it can get into the brain. So that's the form that I take. And when I go on to labdoor.com to find a good brand, we see that the brand Cardiovascular Research is pure and has got very low levels of heavy metals. So that's the one that I go for. And I take 125 milligrams of elemental magnesium. I do not advocate for mega dosing. All I'm trying to do is reach that optimal 420 milligram intake. Now this video wouldn't be complete without having a look at safety. Too much magnesium from food, it does not pose a health risk in healthy individuals because the kidneys can get rid of that excess amount. Again, so long as you're not mega dosing. A massive thank you to all of the patrons and channel members and make sure to check out the next video here where we have a look at how to optimize vitamin D levels. A massive thank you to donotage.org for their $10,000 donation to my rapamycin clinical study. They are a health research organization, and to benefit from the ingredients, check out the pinned comment where you'll also find a 10% discount code.